In this video, we're going to look at installing Desktop Info, which was created by Glenn Delahoy. And you can go to Glenn's page. This is the URL for it. Go to Desktop Info, and you can then download the latest version, which is 2.1. It has a very different uh, interface and it has multiple pages and so the configuration is completely different however we're not going to load 1.1 or uh, 2.1 we're going to stick with version 1.5 which was the original in the NASCO analysis it's part of the distribution package if you go to local disks install kits desktop info here's everything we've also provided the desktop info 2.1 kit so that's available to you if you want it it's recommended that you copy this folder and paste it in on the C drive and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to delete this zip file because this is not needed right now. There will be a separate video produced on that after we've had time to work on it and configure it. Now the next step is to create a shortcut and then open um, the control panel. So we're going to say control and you're going to go to file explorer options view and you want to make sure that it says show hidden files and folders and I also like to uncheck hiding extensions for known file types what that's going to do is that's going to allow us when we open another file explorer is that we can go and when we look at drive C we'll now see program data Microsoft and we'll come down to Windows start menu programs startup and then we're going to take that shortcut that we created and we're going to drag it over here and it's going to tell us it needs permission to copy that to a system folder and once we have that we can double click on it and we that will cause the desktop info to start up now the the thing about putting it in the startup folder is that no matter which account you log into it will automatically start desktop info so that this information will be available and you can see here there's some desktop info there's some information about it about the hardware processes windows configuration memory network disk and services if you go back and look here you will find desktop INI which we can open in Notepad. In my case, I'm going to open it with Notepad++. This is where you configure the data that's going to be displayed in the desktop info. If you come here to the readme.txt, and again, we're going to open that in, desktop, in uh, Notepad++, you'll get a full description of the program, the licensing agreement, everything that is going to be used and it will tell you how to configure and set up all of the parameters associated with the INI file. Now this is free software but it's recommended that if you find this useful and can use it that you make a donation to Glenn's webpage so that he can continue the development. The version 2.1 is a brand new version and was just released the 1st of December and so today being the 2nd of December when this video was made uh, I want to do some more testing before I create a video on 
installing and using that version of desktop info. This current version 1.5, I've used this on all versions of Windows Server from 2008 through 2019. I've used it on Windows 10, Windows 7, uh, Windows Vista. So uh, it's a very reliable program. It has a very low rate. Um, and I find it extremely useful to be able to see what's going on, particularly work when you're working in a system with a lot of nodes. It helps to be able to see right off the bat what node you're logged into by host name and what user account you're logged into with uh, that particular login. So I hope you find this useful. If you do, please donate to Glenn's page and enjoy this program.